What's up guys, Noah from Template FC here, and today I'm gonna to be showing you how to use the football jersey top mock-up template. Um, we have a full football jersey uh, with helmet and everything, um, and separate helmet that you can get as well. But this is just the jersey top and without any pads or anything. So it's how it would be in like NFL shop and stuff like that. Um, and you can see here, uh, we have a couple different textures for this and it's about $25. I'm gonna be showing you how to use this. So when you download it, uh, you get six PSDs um, with three front views, three back views, and you also get some displacement maps, which I'll explain here shortly. Uh, but we're gonna go ahead and use the front right template, um, and I'm gonna be showing you how to do that. Now, this is one of our products that actually comes in PSD form rather than .tiff form. So you can easily open this up in Photoshop without a problem. So here we are in Photoshop. I'm going to press Command H to hide those guides. And I'm going to explain a little bit about the different layers. So first and foremost, we have the avatar object, which is the dummy wearing the jersey. And it also has some shadows on there to make it um, look a little more realistic. And you can feel free to hide that if you want. Um, just go with the jersey, up to you. We also have the shadows here. So if I hide the avatar, I want to hide the avatar shadows as well. And then we have the jersey shadows here, which you can just hide too. Um, I'm going to keep the avatar on and we'll leave the shadows off just so it, it doesn't mumble any of the design process. If I zoom in here, I'm going to show you two different textures. So and maybe not that far. So if I come right here, if just look at one of these blue areas. You'll see we have lighting texture one right now. But if I flip it to lighting texture two, you can see this is more of the old school football jersey pattern with like the little holes. Um, I don't know exactly what to call it, but you can see it's different than the normal polyester jersey design. So you can incorporate using both of these textures in the jersey, which I'll show you, um, or just use one at a time, it's up to you. Then we have our designs folder and our colors folder. So um, these are both fairly self-explanatory, I think. The designs are the smart objects where we're gonna put all our designs and logos on. Um, so we're gonna actually go ahead and get started there. And I always like to start with the front design. Um, so let's go ahead and double click and open that. Now you'll notice I actually included a label here for you guys. So you can come in and um, have the label which is realistic to the Nike um, templates or Nike jerseys. And if you want to modify this, all you need to do is uh, maybe like copy these layer styles and then right click clear them. And then you could add your own logo over the NFL logo. So if I selected the gray here as my background color, I could get this rectangle tool and come over and um, select it and then press command delete to fill. Get rid of that logo, get rid of this logo and then I can come back, I can add my own logos and then paste this layer style back. So if you wanna modify it, that's probably the easiest way to do it. And another thing we have on all these templates are um, some like stitching effects. So you can see we have a stitch here and we have a stitch at the bottom. Now um, on you, there, uh, now there's only the one on the right, there's none on the left, and that's because of the view we have is just this right side. So you can't actually see where the left seam would be because it's like really far on the side here. Um, but on the front and on the um, front left template, you would have the left stitch as well. Um, actually, I think the front doesn't have either side, but the front left would have the left one, if that makes sense. Um, and let's zoom back out here. I'm gonna hide the grid. And the color of this jersey is actually going to be black. We're going to make a Miami Vice Dolphins jersey. So let's make the color fill black. Click OK. You'll notice that the stitching um, is blue. You can actually come in and change the color of the, the, it's called sewing. So I could come and make it black. Or you could just select them and go to fill and set it to 0%. And then it will be the color of the background. So if I zoom in, you can see it still works. Um, but if I add, if I brought like the 22 over, you can see it will just be the color of whatever's there. But let's go ahead and start designing. So, um, like I said, this is going to be a Miami Vice jersey. So let me go ahead and get some Miami Vice colors. I'm going to drag this over and get this blue and pink. 
Now, uh, I always recommend having your libraries open with your colors. If you don't have that, you want to go to Window Libraries, and that will pull um, some form of this window up, and you can drag it wherever. I like to have mine on the right with my layers because I have a big monitor. Um, but if you're on a smaller monitor, you could mix it up where you put it. Um, you really only need to see the front um, or one row or like two colors because usually you work with two or three colors at a time. But let's go ahead and get these. So I'm going to get the blue. And to add it to the library, you just go to add to swatches. And we'll do Miami blue. Get the pink. Miami pink. And now those colors are over here. Now uh, I'm going to, I have the pink selected, so I'm going to flip it and then add my blue. So I have both those colors over here as well. And then I can delete this layer. Let's go to the number and text. And you'll notice there's a duplicated layer of each, uh, which is the stroke or like the, the, the outline color. And I'm just going to go ahead and delete those because we can't modify them. We just want the text layers that we can modify. So I'm gonna start with the 22, and I have a bunch of like sports fonts um, under Varsity. So let's find one that would fit with this Miami Vice Dolphins jersey. I really like that style. Is there a better style? That one's pretty cool. Uh, so Varsity Classic D Regular, I'm gonna go with. And uh, by the way, these all have um, some texture to them, some bevel and emboss, and that's from our free PSD patch maker. So if I come here, you can see this um, has a bunch of different patch maker layer styles for making like 3D logos, making them pop on jerseys, things like that, 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 that like stitching effect, if you will. Um, so all of these have that already um, in place for you. Let's go ahead and click the pink to make this text pink, because I think that's going to be the best look. Um, and then let's go to the template FC text. I'm going to type in Miami. Let's get the same font we were just using. And we're going to make that the blue. And then if we wanted to add any stroke, I like to come in and duplicate whatever it is I'm um, um, adding a stroke to. So if we do the 22, I'm going to press command J on that layer, right click clear layer style and go to fill and set it to zero. So now this layer is basically invisible. If we go to stroke, we could add um, a stroke. So we could do the blue. I actually think we're gonna do black and then add a second stroke that's blue. And that's gonna be on the outside. So we have the black inside and the um, blue outside. Maybe we up this to like six. Maybe do the same with the black. Pretty cool. Um, click OK and then right click rasterize that when you're happy and then go to the 22 right click copy layer style right click paste on the stroke. And you can see that makes the stroke um, or the outline look a little bit better and give it that 3D effect. And I think that looks pretty good. So let's actually save that. I'm fine with the Miami just being blue with no stroke because it is a bit smaller. Um, but let's save that and come on over. Now, I mentioned those displacement maps earlier. If this is looking blurry or anything, this front design, if any of it looks off, um, it's because of the displacement added to it. So if you come here and hit the drop down on the front design, you'll see there is a displace effect. And that is to make the jersey look more realistic with the wrinkles. So if you uncheck that and recheck it, it should fix the blurriness. But if it doesn't, you can come in, um, right click right here and delete that smart filter. And that gets rid of the displacement. And then um, click the chain to unchain it. Make sure this left uh, icon selected, not this one. Um, this one right here. And then go to filter distort displace now you can't see what i'm doing here because it's cut off on the recording but if you do that you'll get this and then you want to do 10 and 10 that's fine click ok and if you go to the displacement maps this is the front right template so you want to go to the front right displace and it will look something like that hit open and it will displace it to fit with this jersey and basically what this does is you can see that it like 
fits in with the wrinkles a bit more um, and just makes it look uh, a lot more realistic. And this is only on the front design. You could add this to the sleeves and the other smart objects, uh, but really the front is where it was important. So that's where I added it. Um, but if you run into any blurriness problems, that's the quick fix. So now we have our colors and stuff. So we can come down to the color section of this and uh, make it work. So I'm gonna make the base black and then the front and back are gonna be black. So I'm just gonna hide that. So they go with the base. Let's do maybe a pink collar, maybe blue sleeves and then like pink trim, something like that. If we hide the designs, we can see how that's gonna look. It's pretty interesting, we'll, we'll roll with it. Um, let's go ahead to the collar front first. And you'll notice I have this set up to look like the Nike template, like the Nike uh, NFL jerseys have the NFL logo here. And this front flap is like a different texture to the rest of the collar. So I kind of did my own version of that. You can adjust. So um, we have the stitching across the top, which is here. Um, you don't have to use that, but you can. We have a pattern here and then we have the color fill. So let's go ahead and I'm gonna keep mine black. You could get rid of the, the pattern fill and just have it blend in with the um, collar. It's up to you there. Um, I'm actually gonna come back to that pattern fill and maybe make it 5%. And we could add like the Dolphins logo there or any other logo. I'm just gonna leave the Template FC logo. Uh, and then let's go to the shoulders i'm gonna be jumping around here a bit i'm gonna do the the main the shoulders and the sleeves and then we'll get to the trim and stuff so let's do that shoulder and that shoulder and you can see i added uh, i added a bit of sewing to the striping to make it look more realistic um, so we can go ahead and delete that delete the striping and then delete that let's do the same thing here um, and hide that cool now I want the numbers to be on the shoulder so let's go ahead and get our 22 from our front select them both and drag it over and I'm just gonna press command E to merge it into one make it smaller and I have a number already set up so you can follow that to get the correct positioning which is right here cool and then we can hide that save that Drag it over to the other side. I'm gonna to wanna to rotate it. Let's bring that up as the guide. Boom, save that. And there we go, we got the numbers on the shoulders. We could make those a little bit bigger, but uh, we'll just leave it for the tutorial's sake. Let's go on to the sleeves. We have the right sleeve and the left sleeve. I'm gonna hide the grid, I'm gonna hide the 22 and we're gonna make the nike swooshes um we're gonna make them black oh wrong thing we're gonna make it black and the background color is gonna be the blue so let's do that all again let's save that just to see what it looks like real quick kind of interesting um let's move the swoosh up here on the left sleeve. We can't actually see the swoosh on the right sleeve, so that's kind of um, not very important. Cool, and I'm gonna go and add the Dolphins logo. Let me actually go to my left sleeve and then add the Dolphins logo. Oh, it's very big. I think that's pretty good placement. Actually, we gotta change the colors first. So let's, uh. Get our selection tool and let's get the orange. We'll make the orange um, pink. And then actually the, the main dolphin part can actually stay how it is, I think. Um, and then we can actually, I think we should have our layer style saved. So uh, let me just press command E to merge these two and then right click paste. And we do have that saved. So now this looks more of a, like a patch. We'll set it up like right there. Maybe move it up a bit. Cool, let's add it to the right sleeve. And it might not actually be visible, so we could move it over. Let me just hide that too. 
Oh, we actually gotta flip this because NFL likes their backwards logos. To f and they want them all to face forward. So it'd be like that probably. There we go. And that's a little too far. I just want it to peak a little bit. There we go. Looking pretty good so far. Um, let's close out of those sleeves. Let's go to the collars. So we'll do the right collar. The left collar and the collar back sweet um so we'll keep the we'll do black as the background color and let's get rid of the blue and make that pink so you can see the striping's already set up so you can easily modify this i'm gonna see what this looks like with the pink we might do blue hmm i think the pink works let's go ahead and do the same with the uh, trim. Pink. Pink. Cool, it's looking pretty nice. Uh, one other thing, or another layer here, uh, if I had hide the avatar, you can see we have the collar inside, uh, which you can add like text and stuff to the back there. Um, but obviously when you have the avatar, it doesn't really show up. Um, and actually, let me make the collar black because it's mainly black. That makes more sense. And this uniform is looking pretty good, I think. You could basically call it done. Now, one other thing I like to do, I mentioned using both of the lightings together. So if I come in here, um, one team, for example, the Packers, have uh, the old school effect on like the chest and the more new school effect on the shoulders and sleeves. So if we come to these color layers and uh, press command and hold it and select these layer masks. So let's do the front and back. Actually, let's just do the front. Let's not do the back. Um, so we ha if we have just the front selected and we go to lighting texture one and then click the layer mask, it will just be on the front. And I actually want to get rid of the shoulders too. So let's go to the shoulder smart objects here, press command on that, hold shift, press command on the second one, go to that layer mask, make sure black is the background color, press command delete. So now it's only this front one that's being used, um, but we actually want this reverse. So I'm gonna press command I on that, and then uh, press command and select, go to lighting two, layer mask, now it's the same, let's press command I on that, and there we go. So now the old school effect is only on this chest and then the shoulders and everything else is the modern effect, which is basically what the Packers do. They still use like the old school texture. Um, and finally, when you're done with this, you can modify like colors and stuff. So uh, let me maybe like add a levels, bring this in to brighten things up. Bring that in a little bit and let's go to Vibrance, bump that up, bump up the saturation because the Miami Vice color should pop a little more. And I think that does the trick. And there is our jersey. Let's maybe make the background a dark gray. Add our shadows back. And there we go, we have our Miami Vice jersey. Follow our Twitter and Instagram, Template FC. Be sure to check out our website for all our mock-ups, patterns, and a bunch of other stuff. We have some free downloads there as well that you can use. So thank you guys for watching. See you in the next one. Peace.